I'm Darlene and welcome back to Super at 60. It's so good to have you here with me today. Today is Tuesday. So it is Test Kitchen Tuesday for us today. Yeah, I found a new product, a brand new product, just new on the shelves uh, this year. I think back in March of 22 is when they uh, were starting to get, push them out into the stores. And this is the first time I've seen them though at our food line. That's where I picked mine up. And um, all, all, uh, Aldi does not have them. Lidl does not have them. Uh, I did not see them even at the big giant uh, food market. I did not see them there as well. They could be there now, but they, they weren't when I looked. Um, yeah, so these were developed by White Lily, a very fine flour company, flour making company, and corn, cornmeal too, I think. Yeah, as part of their part of their product line. And they decided that, that since there was such a resurgence, there seems to be such a resurgence uh, of home and, and uh, kitchen in particular. And so they thought, well, let's make up a few mixes and see how they go over. They're re ready to go mixes. You just add this and that, you know, the few things, you know, kind of like you would a cake mix. And, but it's top quality, so I hear, and the uh, White Lily product. And they have, a, they have several of them out. They have a dark chocolate brownie, they have a milk chocolate brownie. They have some kind of a lemon pound cake, I think it is. One other, and it just escapes my mind at the moment what it is. If I remember, I'll slap it in at the end of the video <laughs> for you just in case uh, it sounds like something you would like. And then today, they have a beautiful uh, cinnamon crumb cake. Yeah, and that's what I thought we'd try today. This is like something that I know my family would love. Um, so we'll give it a try. And I, like always when I'm, um, doing a box product or a new new product here on test kitchen tuesday i make it exactly according to the ingredients according to the recipe i don't switch up anything which is so hard it's so so very hard um but i i want to do that so that i can bring you a really really some really good advice on whether to purchase this product and make it yourself or just leave it on the shelf in the store so i'll do my best today and i'll see you right in my kitchen now all right, there's three things that we're gonna need that we're gonna put right into this little cake. And it is two thirds of a cup of water. Normally, when I have a cake mix or something, I immediately exchange out the water for milk. But I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna use water. One egg and a third cup of oil. You have your choice, you know, a mild oil. Um, I think I'm using vegetable oil today. Vegetable or canola, I can't remember which one I poured now. But you can use vegetable, you can use canola. Oh my goodness, you could use coconut oil. I think coconut oil would be particularly good in this. Um, I don't know why I didn't use coconut oil this morning. I usually do. Um, avocado oil is kind of mild. Or you could use a really light, light, light um, olive oil. It would be also very, very delicious. All right, here's our packet going in. They've really, really made this so easy. My goodness. I, I really, I'm really hoping on it being good. I'm counting on this being delicious. All right, I always, when I get a package, a cake mix or a package, something, you know, like this, I always make sure that all the lumps, um, cause lumps kind of settle in the flour after it's been sitting around for just a bit. So go ahead and just get your whisk out and go through that. We need two thirds of a cup of water. And I think, yeah, a third of a cup of oil. And one egg. Okay, just gonna make, give it a good mix. I'm not adding any vanilla to it. I'm not adding any cinnamon to it. Gosh, when I got up this morning and I started thinking about this, <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was, oh, I have pumpkin. I can throw in the rest of that canned pumpkin I have sitting in the refrigerator and a little pumpkin pie spice. But no, no, not gonna do it. We're gonna keep it just exactly to the package. All right. Well, that comes together very nicely. It's got a nice thickness to it. A little thicker than pancake batter. 
All right, and believe it or not, that's it. That's all we're gonna do for right now. So here's my little pan that I'm gonna put it in for today. Now, what we're gonna do is put half of this in, just half, and then save the rest of it for the topping. Now it's supposed to go in an eight by eight pan, and I think that's what I have here, although it wouldn't surprise me if this was a nine by nine, but I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. All right, we'll put the rest of it over there. Just spread it around. Yeah, it'll puff up. So if it looks a little skimpy, it'll puff up in there. All right, and now there is a little packet in there of cinnamon, like a cinnamon sugar type thing going on. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to add any butter to it, oil, anything like that. Just sprinkle it right over the top. Might be best to just put it in your hand first because there's a lot of clumps in here too. Although I guess the clumps are, you know what? Just go ahead with it right out of the package because clumps are good in something like this. I think that'll be just fine. All right, perfect. And then what, what we're gonna do with the rest of it, of course, is put it over the top. It's a little hard to spread um, once you put that cinnamon stuff down. Now you can just use your spoon and just kind of dollop it in like that. But what I like to do with uh, recipes kind of like this, I have a recipe of my own that's similar to this. Just take the rest of this, take your little ice cream scooper and dot the top, just like that. All right, now you can mix it up together if you want, but you see how it kind of picks up the crumb underneath, see like that? Yeah, you don't want that to happen. So you can just leave it just like this and it will be just fine. And you know what? It's ready to go into the oven. The oven is preheated to 350. Where's my rag? There it is. And I'll show you exactly how it looks in about, let's see, how long does it take? About 30 minutes. I'm gonna set my oven for about 30 minutes. out of the oven and you can see it's, it looks beautiful it looks absolutely wonderful the kitchen smells terrific I might say um, let's see 350 degree oven in a an electric convection oven took about 30 minutes yeah kind of like along with the package said um, uh, now I haven't tasted it yet but I will say I had a lot of trouble uh, trying to get it out of the pan it just and I had a good spatula I greased it well, sprayed it well, but it, it just came out like real crumbly and I'll show you here and I also have a picture I'm gonna <laughs> plug in and show you guys as well. Um, you know, it just came out a crumbly mess. It didn't, um, it didn't come out nice, you know, like a nice solid piece of, um, of cake would normally come out. So that was a little bit disappointing, White Lily. Uh, you know, I guess if you wanted to use parchment paper, but yeah, and I waited for it to cool down. So I don't, I don't know what that was all about. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, let's taste it and see if it's good. Because if it's good, who cares what it looks like, right? All right. Hmm. Hmm. Let me show you a nice big. Can you get that? Come on now, focus. Oh, good. <laughs> Beautiful. You can see that nice cinnamon. It's really lovely. All right. I had a bite. It's good. And like I said, there's a nice rich cinnamon flavor uh, with the cinnamon packet. But the cake itself, remember there's cake on the bottom and there's cake on the top, is quite uh, dull. And it's almost, remember how the batter was a little on the thick side? Um, that had me worried a little bit. Um, I didn't like that part of it. it. It's too, it was too doughy. There was no real flavor in it. All the cinnamon was just in the middle. If it were me, I would have put cinnamon 
in the in the cake part of it or put some kind of flavor in there i didn't taste vanilla in there any rich vanilla flavoring in there even an almond flavor would have been really good um but I'm, I'm afraid to say that there was too much batter in it it just you know another way you might want to try it instead of scooping out the um instead of just putting the the cinnamon on the bottom is to take a knife and just kind of swirl it through and then put the rest of the cake on top I don't know you could try it all different ways to see but I don't like the flavor of the cake the actual cake part the white cake part I just don't like it so there you have it uh, that's my honest opinion of the new white lily um, cake mix brownie mix uh, line that they have out this one maybe I'll try another one I don't know but I doubt it uh, you can fool me fool me once but that's about it <laughs> I'm sorry, White Lily. Uh, keep trying. Keep trying. Well, thank you again for joining me today. Hey, if you, I have a question and answer video coming up shortly. Uh, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me at all, just uh, leave them either down in the comments below or you can email me at super60 at gmail.com and that's 60 with a six zero. Um, or you can write me at my P.O. box. I love to get little notes in my, in my post office box when I go check. And, um, so, uh, yeah, you could do that. And that, that uh, address is right below in the info, info department. And so I would love to, to hear from you and uh, make sure that we get those. I probably won't be able to answer all of your questions. <laughs> There's been lots of them, but um, they're funny. They're cute. They're sincere. They're just wonderful. You can ask anything you like except my weight. Okay. <laughs> No, you can ask. I won't tell you, but you can ask. All right. Well, thank you. I'm Darlene. This is Super at 60. This is Test Kitchen Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. I wonder what we'll do next Tuesday. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. If you have any Test Kitchen Tuesday ideas for me, let me know in the comments below. Oh, the whole lot of stuff can be happening down there in those comments, guys. Don't miss it. Make sure you hit it down there. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye now. And Lord bless. Bye.